Custom Cups season here in Dover, Delaware. Today we go to the Monster Mile for the sixth race of the season as Grayson Gatz last week got his second straight win to become the first driver this year to win multiple races. Addison Stone and Ethan Hansen still hungry for the first wins. Both of them were close last week and both of them bad luck continues for Ethan Hansen and Addison Stone. Another top five finish just to keep racking up the top fives without wins so far this year. So we'll see if he can finally push through and get his first win. Now we're going to go trackside for some track information here from Dover Speedway. It is a one mile oval with turns banked at 24 degrees. Each straightaway is 1,076 feet banked 9 degrees. In the race information, it'll be 60 laps around the one mile oval. 60 laps, 60 miles around Dover, Delaware, and one of the most famous parts of this track is the casino and hotel right on the back straightaway. Now, let's go look at the drivers to watch for before we fire the engines to start today's 60-lap event. First driver to watch for, J.C. Cola Giovanni in the 20, trying to get his first win, his second win of 2022 here at the Dover Speedway. He was second in practice and starts on the pole, so look for Cole Giovanni to be fast today. Another driver to watch for, he was second in both practice and qualifying, trying to finally get his first win after so many top five finishes. Addison Stone was fast, but will it be fast enough to finally get that breakthrough win here at Dover Speedway? We'll find out next. It's time to fire the engines from Dover Speedway. Starting lineup for today's race on row number one is J.C. Cole, Giovanni, and Addison Stone. Row two is Gavin Alabrandi and Kelsey Hemmer. Row three, Jake Hemmer and Ethan Hansen. Row four, Mason Simser and Grayson Getz. Row number five is Isaiah McGlenty and Luca Marina. Row number six is Terry Hansen and Dave Hansen. Row number seven is Toby Stone and Daisy Stone. Row number eight is Ben Hemmer and Adam Hemmer. Row nine is Wyatt Hemmer and Ashton Murphy. Row number ten, Grant Hemmer and Lucas Hansen. Row eleven, after the scary crash last week, is still going. Olivia Hansen and Sam Hoffman. Row 12, Jake Kemmer, Delaney Lombardo, or Josh Hemmer, Delaney Lombardo. Row 13, Row 13, Cardo Simser and Will Hansen. Row 14, Michael Mall and Brooks Hansen. Row 15 is Harry Murphy and Brooks Hansen. I mean, Derek Jones and rounding out the field in row 16 is Chase Murphy. We are just about ready to fire the engines here from Dover Speedway. The command has been fired. We are ready to go. 60 laps around the one mile concrete oval Dover Speedway. As the pace car will lead them through turns one and two, it'll be a full pace lap to take the green flag. For how small of an oval it is, only being a mile, it is a very wide track. And right before the race, more bad luck. Ethan Hansen blows an engine before the race even starts. And it's into the inside wall. So the bad luck for Ethan Hansen, who looks like you've lost his steering. The bad luck for Ethan Hansen continues. They are going to give him the signal to line up in their respective spots. Will Ethan Hansen get back on track? If he does, he'll be multiple laps down. So more bad luck for the four car. As the pace car is going to lead him down pit road, Addison Stone and J.C. Cola Giovanni take him through turns three and four to take the green flag. We are underway for 60 laps around Dover International Speedway. Stone is going to get the jump into turns one and two. They're going to be side by side for second back there. J.C. Cole, Giovanni, and Kelsey Hemmer. Stone will lead them down the back straightaway for the first time here into turns three and four. It is Addison Stone with the lead. It's J.C. Cole, Giovanni trying to hang on to second with Kelsey Hemmer right there. 
Across the stripe goes Addison Stone. Ethan Hansen, a gearbox issue before the race even starts. He will get credited with a last place finish. So more bad luck for him as Addison Stone has shot off like a rocket. Already a very solid lead as Kelsey Hemmer trying to get in front of the 20 here is Grayson Getz. He's on a hot streak. Two wins in a row trying to sneak his way in catch up there as he's going to get by Gavin Alabrandi and Grayson Getz is up into fourth. Very fast car for Grayson Getz. Ran the third fastest lap of the race last time by here. Because Addison Stone is long gone already up to almost a second lead for the 19. Down the front straight away, the lead for Addison Stone got smaller by one hundredth of a second. Good battle for 10th right now. Jake Hemmer and Adam Hemmer. Hemmer's going to surge ahead. He's going to try to make it two passes here as he's trying to surge in front of Terry Hansen running that top lane for 8th. Hansen's going to clear him coming down the front straightway. Now bumper to bumper who shot up past a good amount of cars. Daisy Stone carving her way through the field. Going to try to drive up the inside of Luca Marina here for 6th. Marina's going to hang on onto the top. It's going to get the run down the straightaway. No, he's not. Daisy Stone got a huge good, a huge good run off the corner. As Daisy Stone is up in the sixth now, trying to run down Galvin, Gavin Alabrandi for fifth. Addison Stone lead is starting to get smaller. I think he tried to do too much at the start, blew out the tires, and are already getting bad compared to some of these other cars here. As Stone has led all six laps we've completed so far as he crosses the stripe. Starting to turn into a three-car breakaway as Stone's lead gets smaller yet again. There goes Stone up the inside, going to try to do it off of turn number two. Seems like she's been able to hang in there pretty good on the inside line, going to sneak her way into the top five. She's going to be clear of Gavin Alabrandi, and they're side by side for seventh. Not anymore. Terry Hansen slides in the seventh, passing Luca Marina as Adam Hammer slides in the line in eighth or ninth still. There goes Ashton Murphy. Thought about going under. Mason Simser for the 11th spot. And then Lucas Hansen, who started in 20th, is up the 13th. There goes Adam Hammer. Thought about trying to get up the inside. Daisy Stone is caught gracing Gats. She is the fastest car on the track right now. By about a tenth of a second. There she goes up the inside of Grayson Getz. And is going to be able to steal four from that 18 car. Getz is going to try to fight back on the top. And it's not going to be there. You can see the three car breakaway now as Daisy Stone's next mission is running down Addison Stone and the other guys in the top three. For the first time in a while, Stone's lap was the fastest one out of this three-car group. By about a tenth of a second, as Daisy Stone is breaking away from the rest of the pack, she's on her own doing her own thing now, too. The last place car is about ten seconds back. 9.91. Across the stripe, Addison Stone has led all 12 laps so far. And his lead has been about that margin the whole time so far, too. Kelsey Hammer is up in the second. JC Cole Giovanni threatening to take that spot away, though. As Daisy Stone has, start, has started to drive away in fourth. From now, fifth place, Terry Hansen. So Grayson Getz starting to drop. Adam Hemmer is going to be the next one to get by him. There goes Hemmer up the inside. It's not going to be there in this corner. Getz is going to be a little bit defensive off the corner. 
Not this time. He's going to leave the door open. There goes Adam Hemmer up the inside. He's going to take six from Grayson Getz. As Terry Hansen has driven off from this pack and is catching up to Daisy Stone. Terry Hansen, one of the fastest cars on the track. Last time around, he was the fastest car on the track by 60 thousandths of a second and was two whole tenths. It was about a tenth and a half faster than Daisy Stone. Even faster that time. 23881, the fastest car on the track, is none other than Terry Hansen. Olivia Hansen, of course, the crash last week. That was a scary impact. The flip, the first and only flip so far in Custom Cup history at Kansas last week. As we are approaching about a third of the way there, and Stone's lead is up to a second now. 1.02 seconds for Addison Stone. As Daisy Stone trying to run down Kelsey Hammer and JC Cole Giovanni. It's up front. The field's getting very spaced out. It's six seconds from first back to tenth. We can watch them all come by right here. In the back, that's where they're all racing close together. That's where all the racing here. Let's go on board with JC Cole Giovanni, who's trying to get by Kelsey Hammer here. Now let's go on board with Terry Hansen, who has run down Daisy Stone. He's been two tenths of a second faster this whole time, and has been quietly running down Hammer and Cole Giovanni for second and third. As he's going to get on the inside of Daisy Stone here, but it's not going to be able to hold on to it. Pit stops are underway here at Dover Speedway. Two stop race it'll be around. You have to be at 35 miles an hour by the time you get to that white line, and that's exactly what he did. Not many cars pitted this time, though. Only two cars. Well, three, four, five, six, seven out of the 31 cars. Eight out of the 31 cars in the race will pit this lap. The rest of them will pit this time by. So the first of two stops are underway here from Dover Speedway. Green flag pit stops. Been a critical issue for Ethan Hansen, but had bad luck before the race even started. Four tires and fuel for Addison Stone, who will be the first one off pit road with a bigger gap than he had coming onto the pits. That was a really solid stop from Addison Stone. You can see how far out he is. On Terry Hansen, that'll be a tough gap to regain. If Stone beats the rest of the field off pit road, which he look at all this calamity on pit road. There is contact on pit road there. Contact on pit road. Between Isaiah McGlenty and Ben Hemmer coming off the pits. So your race leader as we come off pit road is still Addison Stone. And then Kelsey Hemmer and then JC Cole Giovanni and then Terry Hansen beating Daisy Stone off the pits. Terry Hansen trying to get into the top three. 
Addison Stone with a second and a half lead. Through turns one and two. Catching up to lap traffic might slow down Stone and might not. Here's the battle right now is for 22nd. Chase Murphy having his best run of the season so far. His pit crew did their job. Now he has to capitalize and get his first top 25 of the year. A small team, but definitely Chase Murphy has shown sparks in close combat racing like right now. He's been able to hang in there with the big boys. He just doesn't have the best single car speed, but once he gets there, he can stay up there. But you can tell... Not the best equipment, usually, but right now, he just steamrolled Isaiah McGlinty in that corner to put himself into 23rd. But McGlinty, there's a crash! Brooks Hansen! I think it was a single car spin. The 33 of Brooks Hansen has gone around. A single car accident for Brooks Hansen. We have to see what happened to him. Our first caution of the day. Oh, and the car smoked up on him. Same issue Ethan Hansen had, maybe. Right there, he skidded the brakes coming to a stop. And he had a clutch issue, so he missed a shift. And that's when it started smoking up. We watch a replay of him shifting into the corner from his onboard view. The smoke happens at the same time. He, You can see he was stuck in fourth gear. He couldn't shift in the third gear. And the caution did not come out. We are still under green flag conditions. And now that's a huge crash coming down the back straightaway. And this one should be our first caution of the day. And there is the pace car. So this time the yellow flag will come out. Carter Simser. In his in a crash for the second straight week, him and Toby Stone got together coming down the back straight away. So now the caution is out. And Michael Mall, and he's been involved in almost every crash this season, it seems like. Seems like he's in every wreck. Let's see what happened to Michael Mall and stuff a couple other cars. He started smoking up and got rear-ended by Toby Stone, who turned him, and then a hard hit for the 27. So Michael Mall, that time wasn't his fall, he smoked up. And Stone got drilled by that. Let's go on board with Toby Stone and then Wyatt Hemmer. Got some good wreck avoidance there. Right there, there's the smoke. There's nothing you can do there. And right there gets walloped. And race leader Addison Stone was not far behind this. Let's go on board with Wyatt Hammer now. We had a good angle of this. You can't see in that smoke either. The yellow flag did come out, and it looks like they're going to take the chance now to get their pit stops in. Some more fresh tires. And this is all lap traffic. Toby, I tear. Only a couple cars did actually come down pit road. And Addison Stone was one of the last ones to get off, so a bad stop for the Addison Stone machine. This one's going to leave him all the way back in 20th. So issues on pit road for the 19 team is now Terry Hansen. It's kind of been the same as Ethan Hansen with the bad luck. Or I guess in the crunch time. Is now the race leader leading his first laps of the year. The pace car lights are off. We'll be working our way back to the green flag. It'll be 30, 25 laps to go. 
around Dover International Speedway. Through turns three and four, a bunch of lap traffic in front of Terry Hansen. The first one through this lap traffic will probably be, if we don't get another yellow or pit stop, the race winner. Through turns three and four, the green flag. Back in the air at Dover, our first restart of the day. Here they go through turns one and two. Terry Hansen is going to be the first one through. And he's still singing there in line. Gavin Alabrandi surging on the top, trying to win his first win, get, get his first career Custom Cup win. This is going to come down to whatever lane of lap traffic is faster, and you can tell right now. Stay, stay. Terry, stay. Through turns three and four. Hi. Not yet. Oh. Through turns three and four. And Terry Hansen is the race leader. As we're going to be approaching 23 laps to go here at Dover, it's Terry Hansen, then Daisy Stone, and then Luca Marina. And it turns three and four. It's time to crank it up on board with Daisy Stone for the next few laps. There goes Stone to the outside. Ashton Murphy trying to get her second win of the year. Ever since the first race has been kind of an underdog and Grayson Gatz is back in the conversation. Trying to get his first, trying to be the first driver to ever win three in a row in Custom Cup history. Snow day, snow day, snow day. I got an 85% chance of school us. Snow tonight, it says my school is likely to be closed. All right, 15 laps to go. Ashton Murphy trying to get her second win of the year. But we are bumper to bumper for the top three spots with lap traffic looming ahead. Actually, only one car, but still. And Addison Stone has worked his way up into 12. Don't count him out. 
Unless he gets stuck, for sure. Ashton Murphy stuck in lap traffic. This is what I mean. Grayson gets to the lead, trying to make it three in a row in the Custom Cup. A slow start for Getz. An epic turnaround. As he has a big lead now at Dover. Looking for his third straight win. In this year's Custom Cup. Ashton Murphy is going to try to catch back up now. But I think Adam Hemmer ran a faster lap than Getz that time. Yeah, Adam Hammer is faster than Getz. Adam Hammer looking for his first ever Custom Cup win. Only three tenths away from it right now. There goes Adam Hammer getting up to the back bumper of Grayson Getz. Not going to have it this time. Adam Hammer up to the back bumper. Now Gats ran a faster lap. Lead up to two twenty three hundredths of a second. Eight laps to go. Adam Hammer trying to get by Grayson Getz. But it's starting to lose him a little bit. Will Adam Hammer have an answer? Trying to stop the streak. Back up to the bumper. Pit stops are underway. This is the money stop. We forgot about the other stop. The money stop is underway from Dover, Delaware. This is the most important pit stop of the race. The fastest stop might win with how close we were out front. Guess his pink crew has probably been the best in the custom club. A close call with Delaney Lombardo. That's going to slow him down coming down the pits a little bit. Hammer is going to make contact coming into his box. Gats has a clean pit entry. Kind of came in kind of crooked. Gats. The right sides are on. It's a two tire stop. And JC Cola Giovanni. Thought he was going to actually be beating him. And Adam Hammer lost this race in the pit. Grayson Guess is going to be too far ahead. And how about Chase Murphy, who is going to be running in third? But Grayson Guess, it will be a third straight win for the de easily the most dominant driver now so far this year. So Grayson Guess, long gone. He has to beat a couple guys off the pits, and he easily will. So the lead will be about a second and a half. Grayson gets with five laps to go. And the caution flag is going to come out. 
Will we get a one lap shootout? Or will the caution flag take them to the end of the race? Everyone wants a one lap shout shootout, but we don't know if the game will give it to us. When is the exact moment the pace car came out so we can find out what this caution was? It was Sam Hoffman getting into the inside wall. The back straightaway has been the problems for people today. Oh, he got turned coming off the pits. That's Will Hansen slammed him and then tapping the inside wall, but it was enough, NASCAR believed, to throw the caution flag. Here's another look at it. So, the fans all want a one-lap shootout. Will the Custom Cup officials give it to us? There was a small crash. Are the pace car lights off? Yes, they are. We're going to have a one-lap dash to the finish. Will Adam Hemmer be able to get the answer? Through turns three and four, one lap to go. Will it be Getz? Will it be Hemmer? Will it be Murphy? A one lap dash is underway. Last chance for Adam Hemmer. He's going to stay on his bumper into one and two. He's going to lose him a little bit into the corner. Will he get close enough in turns three and four? Oh, Gats had too good of a corner. Gats had too good of a corner. Hammer's going to try to look to the inside, but it's not going to be there. And for the third time in a row, Grayson Gats, three in a row, winning his third race in a row at Dover Speedway. And another top five. Addison Stone. Three in a row. He's won three out of the first six now. Grayson Getz wins at Dover. His third win in a row. We'll see you next week.